Darling, you send me. I know you send me. I know you send me. Darling, you. use the excuse to not get up in the morning to go for a run. The hardest part for me is to get up. The easy part is to just run. I've been doing this route now for three weeks. Different route, change it up a bit. I think it's quite exciting. It makes me feel a lot more rejuvenated in the morning, you know? Um, good route to run, along the Thames, straight after I go and get the whole way cart, free ride, so yeah, stay tuned. Next thing I don't understand, why a lot of people don't want to go running in the morning. Oh, I can't believe I'm... yeah, I don't understand why people don't want to go for a little jog in the morning me personally I think I think it's one of the best things can keep you can keep you going active motivated you know if you get up same thing over and over every day you get up shower change go work come back home that will kill me honestly you know so and, and it's good to switch it up you know so I'm challenging you all my viewers and subscribers out there just do something different for this week coming yeah all right if you're watching the video now just pause it just go for a little jog around the block yeah and if that's too boring for you then that means you should get out there and do something constructive I don't know if you can see that that's the O2 arena right there and I'm going roughly on these carts that's where I'm going absolute buzzing free ride for as long as my mate is there I get free ride if he's not there then unlucky well let's go another two miles to go so polluted I can't stand it so I have to divert a bit and take this route I think this is the quickest one but blows the traffic but got to get done no excuses come on <laughs> I love the way people look at me so astonished like is he running in the morning it's like god damn I'm running are you blind I don't mind him just do you and do what please you but I challenge you, get up and go running. Get your ass up. Yeah, there we are. All the cable cart. Oh, I can almost reach it. Here we go. See one there. Somewhere above here. Here we go, we're going. Come on, let's go. Oh, mate. Yeah, my youth. This is what I feel like. Let's stop there. Just above them tree lines there. Can't wait, I'm excited actually. Yeah. Got another mile to go. And that's it. Oh yeah, apart from that though, it's good. Good movement in the morning. Feel absolutely buzzing. Motivated. Well, Chris, I don't want to ask yourself though. What are you going to do today? Or in the morning or tomorrow? Is this video motivate you? If it does, thumbs up or drop a comment 
below I'm just blowing heavier because I'm not good but yeah it's good every day since the past couple of weeks I've been doing this as well as I said get, get up in the morning is the hardest bit but as soon as you start to get the, the clock ticking you know the ball rolling then and that's you you get into the movement of things he just wanted us to keep doing it and it's good as well because when when you see other people up and about running as well you just like me i'm a racer i love to race so <laughs> as soon as i see them i just want to just run past them you know but to do this vlogging at the same time and do it it's crazy i think i have to go back and get a camera <laughs> but yeah it's good well yeah we're gonna jump on this cart now and the reason why i'm walking as well because it's just right over there so i'm just gonna walk down to it see if my mate is there and if he's there then i get my free ride if not then I just have to make my way back <laughs> but stay tuned This is what keeps me going, lads. Yeah, another day, another beautiful day, I should say. Where should we go? Is it? Hi there, man. You are? You can jump on? Yeah. Cheers. Off the cart, so I'm just gonna do that. Just gonna get a little latte and then start start the rest of my day, and then that's it. I can't wait, I'm buzzing. I'm gonna finish my coffee, go inside the shop and say hi to her real quick. And think she and her husband own the shop, so yeah, it's a beautiful place. Just across from the Cape Cod Thames, you know, I think beautiful spot. You guys, yeah? No worries, bye bye. I think a week ago, I think sleep on the street. Been almost for six years and and this one I'm talking about, subscriber and viewers out there. You got people like Alan, who's basically suffering. Yeah, have no home to go to, just on the street. Yeah, but I'll, I'll let him tell you his story. Yeah. Yeah, I split up with my ex-partner and that's the way it went. And split up, that's it. And that's you've been on the street for how long? Six years. Six years? Yeah. And that's where, so where you sleep? Under the foot channel. And where's the clothes at? I ain't got none. You ain't got none? And that's Alan, mate. Yeah, so all the viewers out there, subscriber. <coughs> this is what I'm talking about in life. There's yeah. people out there need help. Yeah. yeah, so when so when you think your life is shit, yeah, and demotivated, I'm not saying to use Alan as an example, but you have people who are suffering worse than you or are feeling locked down worse than you. So in life you just have to be grateful and thankful. Yeah, um, if anyone could help me, much appreciated. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're not gonna say. Alright, nice one. I'll keep in touch, mate, yeah? Yeah, no problem. Alright, no worries, mate. No one love. One See love. Bless up, yeah? <laughs> what a life, eh? 
Yeah, we just met Holland and I've seen him quite a few times. I've given him money for breakfast and lunch. Um, been almost six years. And he is a genuine person, honestly. He's, he's not like that old. And it's so sad, you know, because people like us, we get up every day and being so low mood or say, oh, we don't want to go to work or feeling depressed. But, you know, you have to just look at the finest thing in life, you know, and ask, and ask yourself the reason why, why you're here. You know, my reason is to mo motivate people, you know, and to make people happy, smile. You know what I mean? That's me. And everyone who knows me knows that's the type of person I am. But I'm saying, what are you gonna do for today? Yeah, what difference are you gonna make in life? Yeah, and not sit down and winch. Yeah, get out there, do something different. You know, make someone smile. You know what I mean? Or go and see your family, visit family, friends, or something. Do something helpful, thoughtful. Sometime in life, you know, for you know, for, for you to have pleasure, you have to feel the pain side of it. And I feel the pain side of it. You know, and for the wrong reasons. And that's why I'm here now, giving back you know, as much as I can give. While I'm on this hurt, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the best I can do and be the best human being I can be, you know, to make people happy. And that's me, you know. So when you're feeling low and depressed, as I'm saying, don't use Alan as an example, but that's a good example. You know, six years, people, come on. What more you can ask for? That's mad. Enjoy life. That's what I'm saying. Boom. Publicity. You don't want none, why not? Everyone want it. No, I'm too yeah, old for that. You're too old for that, you think so? What's the important thing in life for you? Being, being, being able to get out of bed in the morning, I suppose. Yeah? Yeah, yeah I'm right. How old are you? You can mind my accent? 83. 83 and still painting and still have a steady hand. Look at that, lads. Yeah, fairly, fairly steady, isn't it? That is absolutely steady as that. Can't beat that, mate. Yeah. Uh, he's almost there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, nice one, mate. Take care of him and have a good day, yeah?